Hi everyone, welcome back to another semester at the college. Now we're in winter semester for 2024. My name is Paul Tilley. If you haven't had me before, I've been teaching for over 30 years and I've been teaching this particular course, Law 1230, for hmm, uh, probably about 20 of those. I really like the Law course. The course um, talks about some of the key things that are important for business to take place. In fact, one of the things that makes Canada a good environment to do business is the fact that we have a good set of laws. And those laws are critical for business to function well. And that's the type of law that we're dealing with in this course is business law. We're not really talking about criminal law where people go to jail for things. That's a different. We're talking about civil and business law. So what we mean here is that you and someone else have a relationship through a contract or because you are walking on their property or something along those lines. Each of you owe a duty to one another. And the duty, if it's broken, in order to resolve the problem that resulted from the breakage of that duty, how do we do that? Well, that's what business law is all about addressing issues in a fair and an equitable manner so that the parties involved can seek redress or put themselves back in the position they were before the problem happened. So that's really what we're looking at with regards to this business law. Specifically in this course, we're going to be looking at a number of things. And I'll show you now. Well, what is this business law course about? Well, first of all, it's intended to enable you to gain a better understanding of what's going on in the Canadian legal system, how it works, okay? And that's really our very first topic, is how does the Canadian legal system work? And then we're gonna look at some of the key elements related to business. We're gonna look at things like tort law. Tort law is an example of laws that deal with wrongs. I wrong you, walked down my property, and you slipped and fell so you were wronged. I could argue that you came on my property uninvited. I was wronged. So how do we deal with those in the, the legal environment? We're talking about things like contracts. Contracts are agreements between two or more parties for one party to do something in return for something else. We're also going to talk about business law in general, and that's the law as businesses operate. So for example, the sale of goods. How do we sell things? And what are some of the recourses in the event that the sale goes bad. We're also going to look at employment law. And employment law is a very common one that applies to basically all of us. If you're employed, you are a someone who is a servant. You're in, in legal terms, you're serving some entity, your employer, to do a task. Now, there are rights and responsibilities that you have as an employee, and there are rights and responsibilities that the employer has towards you. And we're going to talk about those. Finally, we're going to finish up the course with a discussion of property law. And property law really can be divided into two basic parts. We're going to look at real property, which are things like houses and buildings and stuff like that. But we're also going to be talking about something called intellectual property. Intellectual property deals with stuff that comes from people's minds, ideas, um, uh, pieces of art, pieces of equipment, uh, ways of doing things, these sorts of things. We're going to look at that. So specifically, we're going to be looking at six broad topics in this course. The Canadian legal system, torts, contracts, business law, employment law, and property law. And as I say, property law is going to be broken into really two parts, real and intellectual property. How is the course going to be evaluated? Well, there's a case analysis. There's, in fact, there's five case analysis. There's a case analysis package that you're going to be given, and that's coming out in week three, and I'll talk more about that as we move further. But basically, you're going to be analyzing the cases, writing a presentation on it, and developing a video presentation. You can do that as a group of three or less. And it's due at the end of the semester. There's also going to be a couple of tests through the term. These tests are worth 15% each. And finally, there's a comprehensive final exam. And that final exam will be two hours written at the end of the semester. It'll be a 70-30, so there'll be multiple choice and some questions on that. The class. Well, this course is an instructor course, and we meet three times a week. We're going to be meeting at the 12.30 to 1.30 slot on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. So I look forward to your participation there. 
Also, I'm going to be recording classes, so it will always be recorded, but I also have um, corresponding videos uh, that go up for each of the topics, and they'll be put up as well. Okay, looking at the schedule for the term, what we're going to be doing is going through 14 weeks, really, of, of classes. And the first couple of weeks, we're going to be looking at an overview of the Canadian legal system. That's unit one. And when we talk about an overview of the legal system, what we're doing is talking generally about how we define the law, the concept of business law, the differentiation between common law and civil law, the concept of statute law, administrative law. We're going to look at sources of law in Canada, how the Canadian Constitution impacts our legal system, and we're identifying the classification of law and explaining how the Canadian court system is organized. We'll move on from that and we'll look at unit two, which is tort law. Now, tort law is the law of wrong. You get wronged by someone or I get wronged by someone. What is our recourse? In a business sense, that is, does the business wrong a customer, for example, sell it some bad product, these sorts of things. So we're going to be looking at a bunch of terminologies in this, including tort feeser, the concept of an intentional tort versus an unintentional tort. Uh, we're going to look at things like negligence, vicarious liability, negligent misrepresentation, the concept of causation, the concept of duty of care and foreseeability. We're going to explain torts arising from the use of property, such as occupier's liability and distinguishing between the invitee, a licensee, and a trespasser. And we're going to explain the concept of occupier's liability. We're going to describe the concept of nuisance and trespass. And we're going to identify and discuss common tort defenses for each of those as we move forward. Then we're going to do a first test. And the first test is a multiple choice test worth 15%. It covers units one and two. In the weeks five and seven, we're going to look at contract law. And contract law is really a big aspect of business administration law. We're going to look at what exactly is a contract. The components of a contract, offer, acceptance, and consideration. We're going to discuss the essential elements for the contract to be valid. What makes it a valid contract and how can it be enforced if it is valid? We're going to look at legal capacity, concept for, uh, the concept of legality in terms of what we, can, what we can actually contract for. We're going to look at the concept of what contracts need to be in writing, what ones can be not necessarily in writing. We'll look at things like the statute of frauds, and how government statutes influence uh, contracts. From there, we're going to look at business law. Now, business law is an aspect of contract law, and what we're going to do is look at some legislation, particularly something called the Sale of Goods Act in Newfoundland and Labrador, and bankruptcy, and various things that relate to managing contracts and the disposition of contracts. Once we got Units 3 and 4 done, we're going to do another test. That will be 15%, multiple choice, same sort of format as the first one. From there, we're going to look at employment law. And employment law is probably one of the most common aspects of contracts that you will form. And that is, you go to work for someone and they agree to compensate you for working for them. So we're going to look at this concept of employment law related to some terminologies such as agency and agent and principal. And we'll look at the duties of each of those respective characters towards one another. Part and parcel with that, we're going to be looking at uh, Labor Relations Acts, Labor Standards Acts, Occupational Health Safety Act, some of these government reg legislations that impact employment. Finally, we're going to take a look at property law. Now, property law can be really divided into two components. The first component is real property. And real property involves buildings and things that you can see and touch, tangible items. Then we're going to take a look at intangible property, such as copyrights, trademarks, these sorts of things. To facilitate this learning, we're going to be using the Canadian Business Law Today textbook. Now, this textbook has been used for several years. It's out in a new edition this year. Please refer to the bookstore, and you can pick up a copy of it. There may be used copies in the older editions. That would be fine. Like in all my courses, I invite you to, to contact me in any way that you can, but the most useful and immediate way is to email me. The reason I like emails, I can get back to you as soon as I can and I can do a little bit of research before 
uh, answer you so I can give you a better answer. I prefer that you use the email within the course and that way I can keep track of it better. Uh, I will respond to you in the business day that you write it. So you send me an email, I'll get back to you. In the event that I don't get back to you, it's probably because I didn't see it. And that can happen in this in email system. Uh, once I click one, the others indicate that they're read and I have on occasion lost people's email. If you don't receive back from me within the day, please write me again. I will get back to you, guaranteed, every email, even if it's to say, okay, right? But I will get back to you as a general course for all your emails. I will be putting updates in the course on a regular basis every day or two. Those updates get put in the news section. Please refer to that, and that will keep you up to date. I welcome you to the course, and I look forward to our discussions.